Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slappy Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. A lot of you have asked me what I do with the leftover cooked briskets from all the uh, videos on my channel. I have 50 plus how to cook brisket videos. Besides giving it away to first responders and donating it to charity, I like to repurpose my cooked brisket into many other types of fun dishes. Today I'm going to show you something I do with one ton skins of spring roll pastry. We're going to do a brisket lasagna with some wonton skins. Show you guys some easy peasy ways to repurpose your brisket so you can create another meal out of your cooked brisket. Let's mix our ricotta cheese filling. This is a 32 ounce package of ricotta. I'm gonna put two eggs. Mix it into ricotta. A little bit of uh, Worcestershire. Boost the flavor. I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, our juice prep. In here a little bit also in the brisket in a little bit this one is from uh, soupbase.com uh, they are my co-packers if you need uh, to get any kind of uh, soup products or soup based products I use them in competition you can go check out soupbase.com and they have uh, some specials going on I think also add uh, one tablespoon of dried basil a tablespoon of oregano a little dash of some nutmeg for floral note and we're gonna add some parsley So while I'm mixing up the uh, ricotta mix here, I want to kind of point your attention to this uh, sauce here. This is a marinara sauce by Rao's. Among all of the marinara sauces out there, Prego, Ragu, this is by far the best. So this is what I typically use when I don't have time to make my own marinara sauce from scratch. The jar sauce, the Rao homemade sauce is really, really good. So you can find them now in Walmart and um, that's the brand I buy. Among all the different sauces out there, I think this one's the best. Tasty for saltiness here. Needs a bit of salt. Gonna add some uh, Slap Your Daddy all-purpose rub. All right, just a little bit of liquid at the base. The sauce. cheese layer of cheddar next and you can use a uh, mozzarella you can use uh, any kind of cheese you like I just like to mix my cheese up some pepper jack also let me use some pepper jack slices of brisket now a little bit of beef broth rehydrate the brisket so it's not Fry. It's a secret for keeping your brisket moist. More sauce. More ricotta. Heavy and close into the pit. So, and a 
All right, lasagna is ready. Let's finish up with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Italian parsley. Alright, let's give it a bite and see how it tastes like. Wow, fantastic bite. That's a great balance of flavor. That tartness of the marinara sauce, that Rao brand is really good. Has a nice amount of balance of tartness and sweetness. The brisket is absolutely super duper tender. See how beautiful this is. And uh, just goes really, really well. The wonton skin itself is really soft, a little bit softer than your regular pasta but very, very enjoyable. Look at that, beautiful wonton skin. Super easy to make with your leftover brisket. Let's give Mr. Beans a little taste test of this wonderful brisket wonton lasagna. All right, Mr. Beans has his own little plate of this wonderful brisket lasagna. Let's we'll see if he likes it. All right, Beans, you're gonna have brisket a different form today with some wonton lasagna. Let's see if you like it with a taste test. Scarfing down the brisket pieces. I'll give him some nice chunks of brisket here. A little bit of wonton skin, marinara sauce. <laughs> Good job, Beans. Hope you guys like this uh, brisket wonton lasagna video on how to repurpose your leftover brisket. Ask me any questions in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.